Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, I appreciate the visit. You've been invited into my living room to have a seat. We have another week-long reaction. We're going to be doing the song Easy. We're going to be listening to the original. Uh, let's see how do I have this scheduled. So the original is going to be uh, Monday, July 29th. I'm going to release it about 10 p.m. or 10 a.m., excuse me, Central Standard Time. Uh, all week it's going to be the same time. Okay, so at 10 a.m. Um, Tuesday is going to be Felix Irwin uh, singing this song. Uh, Wednesday is going to be Faith No More. Thursday, The Distractions. And Friday, Greta Panettiere. So that is our lineup. Now, those of you who are seeing this week-long reaction format for the first time, this is the second week of doing this. It may not be every week. It'll be when I can when I can do it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking a song. Right now, I'm focusing on some of the classic songs, uh, and and then we're gonna listen to the original followed by four covers. So a Monday through Friday uh, situation there, and then at the end of the week, will be a post uh, a poll posted on my channel for you to vote on which one was your favorite version. And, and to comment why. Uh, and, and that went over okay with last week's, which was uh, When a Man Loves a Woman. The poll's still open, so if you if you go back and, you know, you're late to the party here, you can still go ahead and vote. Um, I will mention... Sorry, someone's got a squeaky car out there. Uh, I will mention to some of those, those of you who have used the comments uh, section on that poll for other things... Please don't. That poll is is meant it. It's helpful for me to gauge how I'm doing and what I'm doing. Some of you might want to suggest other other uh, bands or remind me of some you know some other song that's been released recently. That's not the place to do that. The place to do that really is in my email. Okay, and you can find that information in the description box below. Um, and then if you do decide that like hey. You know, there's a different version of this song that I like that you haven't reacted to. Some people may want to put that on the uh, on the comments as well, and it's not necessarily wrong, but it really doesn't apply to the to the five songs that I've chosen. So um, there is a good chance that I will at some point point go and follow that suggestion and listen to that version. Uh, each one of these song reaction um, week long reactions will have its own playlist, so. Over time, I'll I'll grab some other versions um, and put them into that playlist as well. But it's not necessarily part of the week long. You understand what I'm saying? So that's kind of how I want this to go. This this week long thing is sort of it's a precursor to what I want to do on Patreon. So I'm trying to gauge how this is going to look uh, and and all the different things that I may need to tweak and and change. Uh, because on Patreon, as we get more patrons, um, and you guys are going to compete for basically musical control of the channel for a short, for a short time. Uh, and I'm trying to think of different, um, I guess, contests where you can, you can win <laughs> that control. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does to you. It, it's just an idea I want to explore. Um, but I think this also preserves some of the, these classic songs that uh, are might be fading away from the public musical consciousness a little bit. Uh, so I do want to continue uh, the beauty and and that these music, uh, these these older songs uh, have given us, have gifted us. And of course, we have newer artists that are are trying to keep that alive as well. And as a reactor, I think it's partially my responsibility to uh, to do that as well. So. Without any further talking, please check out the description box below and um, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and here we go. I talked a little too long, the TV was like, whatever, dude. Easy. All right, we got to wait for the commercial here. Sorry, guys. But raw, honest, and unedited, just like you would be. It's experience just like it would be if you were here. When you stay. Only at Metro. Feeling healthy.
one day I'll pay for no commercials, but I like the authenticity of having you here, if that makes sense. All right, here we go. Volumes up. And I want you all to imagine right now that it's... The Commodores. 1977, this song. Was written and released. Gotta love the piano. Lionel. coming um okay so very cool if you hear chirping it's a cricket not a fire alarm i've got geckos and they haven't eaten that one and i've been trying to get get him and put him outside because i don't want him ruining my my moment here but anyways um yeah first of all it's sunday morning when i'm doing these videos when i'm recording them so kind of appropriate easy like sunday morning Nice, easy feel in that music. It's got a nice groove, a nice, um, just slow, easy pace to it. Lionel's voice just always, always, always amazing. Uh, just some of the little dynamics that he did in there to give it a little bit of spice uh, was really nice. Um, I wish I would have seen more. They would have put more um, of the onstage performance rather than just a couple of shots of him, you know, playing and singing. Uh, but I guess, whatever, they put the video together the way they wanted to. By the way, this is on their YouTube channel, so you can find the original there. Um, it It's just a, a good feel song that harkens back to a different age, a different time. Um, it's It has that nostalgia attached to it. I think it's a, a timeless song. I don't think this song will ever really go away uh, because it just it creates a mood that I think most people can can relate to. And that's the most important part about anything that an artist does. It's created 
because the artist has this need to express, but there's a relationship with that that goes to someone needs to see or hear that creation. Um, and I and I think without the audience having some sort of connection or relationship with what that artist created, uh, why bother? You know. Otherwise, it's just a cathartic moment for the individual or for the group, and, and it's here, and then it's gone. Um, so, and musically, just so very good. I mean, we're talking about Motown here. We're talking about the 70s. The outfits back then were just kind of space-age weird. <laughs> I don't know why grown adults would start wearing stuff like that. I mean, you know, some of the stuff like Led Zeppelin wore and Rush with their robes back in the 70s and the Commodores with their kind of space age stuff but i mean <laughs> whatever that was i don't know uh but still you know the music itself is is what's important and that's why we're here and that's why we listen to it and that's why we share it uh and so this this is good this was a good one i obviously this is the original so now this is the the baseline uh and the other ones that uh that come next uh we're gonna compare it uh, we're going to compare all of them to each other, and we're going to decide uh, which one we like the best. So there you go. Moving on to the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here. God bless you. Jesus loves you, and I will talk to you.